Hello and welcome to my presentation. This course provides you an understanding of the role of stress in the human physical interaction. It uses a social technical model to better to help you to better understand the different factors teaching stress questions and children. And it provides you a set of tools that help you further reflect on how to design in better interaction. You know what? Why stress? As you will know, today we suffer from an ecological shift, where we have a range of physical artifacts that are transforming our lives, the way we communicate, locate, play, and laugh. And it becomes a life with less and less about the devices, there's more about the activities uh, that devices enable us to do. So, tracing in this devices and the activities that they enable us to do is an important issue for sustainability. Stress is a crucial element in human relations. It is important because it assures that uh, interactions will succeed and um, it ensures that individuals are predisposed to interact and share. With us, activities can proceed more smoothly and actions are more decisive and people work with greater comfort. Trusting opens in the level of commitment and reduces the level of uncertainty. Because trusting is a fundamental condition for influencing concerted social action and participation as well as collaboration. Trusting and computing is about leveraging uh, uh, trusting level interaction. In human computer uh, interaction, trust helps to reduce the risk of uncertainty and or uh, related with uh, technology. It also helps create positive and meaningful experiences when using technology. It's also crucial for helping users conduct certain uh, activities or certain artifacts. Let's talk about just computing from a personal perspective. Session will provide a brief introduction to, to what is working computing. We will also help you to answer questions like what exactly we mean by trust um, and help you understand the importance of trust in computing and distinguish between trustworthiness and trust and also discuss the effects of distrusting in interaction. In a very simple way, we believe that trust contemplates a key component on, of human interaction it's because it's a social stamina and it contemplates as well as complex two-way relationships. This means, if you look at this schema, that trust is a key element of a relationship. In a relationship that can be between a, a two agents or more, a trustor or an SSP or a third party. Those agents are constituted of a social context or a social life that is within a community or the organization, or it can be provided by a communication medium like Skype, like Google, and Zao. This is for trust in a form of interpersonal organization. This means that we must trust a particular individual more than others. And in a specific situation, for example, we might trust a particular work colleague to share and share with them more. Uh, sensitive information like final liberated display. The same happens in the specific social context like family, doctor, patient. We are required in this context to trust our family doctor with our health problem, in spite of not knowing him or her personal. We got with our trust decisions in consistent. As trust influences the way we relate to the computational artifacts, influences the way we communicate, the way we adopt the artifacts, and the way we relate to it. As I said before, computing and computational artifacts are much related with human conditions nowadays. And so, this plays an important role in the dynamic nature of these social technical relationships, as it influences the way we interact with the computer. What exactly do we mean by trust? Trust is the factor that someone willingly to take a risk 
teacher and other tests. For example, class results from a test test or education that takes in the counter with assessing someone or something like a computer. Tests exist within a situation. As I said before, integrates the social status or social life. So, it needs to be represented within a community organization or within a communication media. Trust is the topic that's been studied for many, many years. So, trust uh, has many associated notions and it has a multidisciplinary nature. Uh, we believe that trust represents a process of believing that someone or something is capable of doing what is expected. And within that belief, it comes a degree of uncertainty. Some people are more realistic at risk than others. So, within that, the risk is a constant in the relationship. The, by trusting, or by taking a decision to trust or not to trust, we are trying to reduce the risk of interaction failure. What exactly do you mean by trust? Trust is a, a result from a dynamic process that evolves through time. And this process takes into account a certain time that helps us to perceive if someone or certain situation is worth working or not. The result of this perception are based on our willingness to interact or not interact with that person. So people trust produce positions very much on how we perceive certain uh, situations and how we believe that someone or something who perceives actions will in fact fulfill my needs. This leads me to be more committed to the process or less committed. Trust depends much on how we determine the situation if the situation is in fact working or not. We might ask ourselves how to determine if a situation is in fact perfect. The answer is by observing. Observing what is a warranty sign. What are the first warranty signs? The first warranty signs can be attributed that indicate uh, the incentive of something or someone to be involved in certain action and leads us to believe that. That someone or something, the first few actions will in fact fulfill my needs. This is what underlines people's beliefs. So they are signs of reinsurance, reassuring me that the actions of someone or something will help me to lead to my goal, will help me to understand what will be the other's intended behavior. A trustworthy sign is what supports me in my decision and what leads me to perceive if certain situation is trustworthy or not. So it diminishes the uncertainty of interacting with something or some, someone, leading me to better identify the trustworthy making qualities of an artifact of someone. Trustworthy designs can help, uh, help me understand how committed are the involving parts to the relationship. It helps me identify some individual reactions, intentions, and actual views, and also creates reinsurances that um, certain actions are going to occur as expected. So, my ability to do design creates me a balance between my previous decision to be committed to something and to take the risk to be involved and decision not to suppress or not to trust. A parameter that is supported by Gambetta when it talks about trust, trust or distrust asymmetry. Trust and distrust asymmetry is an important issue to create successful interaction. Uh, it, it takes uh, many years to build trust. But seconds to break it. And once you break it, you break it it's very difficult to resolve that. 
first is a very complex and dynamic process. So it's very hard to measure. That's why we see many uh, approaches on how we understand stress and how stress influences different aspects and different contexts and situations. That's why, from the computer perspective, we see two main tendencies. Our tendencies from the research is to see stress very much associated with more technical and operational aspects, like associating stress with privacy and security issues. And we have to see another tendency that keeps trust in the computing um, realm as associated with the social and interpersonal relationship where trust influences very much the way we relate with these computers and we communicate with others through the computer. The thing is certain. Trust is very much related with the reinsurance mechanism or what we call before trust warranty time. Those mechanisms can be measurable and can be observed. This is what certain measures by observing behavior can be behaviors that come from social relationships, the way we communicate, the way we write messages, or the way we, uh, we reply to, to each other's um, message, or it can be a technical aspect, the way the computer behaves and acts towards our actions. Anyway, the trust insurance mechanism can diminish our uncertainty of the situation and help us to become more sensitive to trust. As trust is a very complex topic, um, by being able to identify certain trust warranty qualities or reinsurance qualities is not enough to understand if the identified qualities are enough to discuss. We need to understand if those qualities that we are identified are to be trusted or not. How can we do that? That's why this is a very dynamic process that evolves to time. It's a cycle process that we constantly reevaluate our situation and our trust warrant quality. And we constantly ask ourselves how reliable are those trust worthy making qualities? And this is especially important in omnipresent uh, production, like the production platform, like Wikipedia, Google Docs, or WordPress where um, crowdsourcing or where, where its content is uh, even uh, it's, it's constantly changed. So in sum, as I said before, trust is dynamic. Trusting represents the reinsurance element as trust results on our perceptions of another or uh, a situation as trustworthy or not. It depends also on our, our ability to read certain signs, reinsure these signs. Signs that indicate me that the level of risk is, is, is uh, okay to say. Uh, the benefit of trusting someone or something is higher than not to trust. This is why studying trust from a human computer interaction perspective or from an interaction design perspective is important. Because we are studying design methodologies that can incentive people to become more engaged, more connected with certain products or uh, artifacts or ecosystems. We can change the behavior or creating certain attitudes in people, reflecting that um, that behavior can conduct ourselves and, become, uh, and create more interactive relationships. As Basharash and Luman describe trust, is the complexity of a game that he or she finds herself playing. Within this game, trust comes associated with the time partial property, represented by the initial trust moment, with trust or not trust, and an ongoing trust moment, 
that can be reconstructed over time. In your assignment one, we, we ask you to read this presentation, read or listen this presentation, and also read some articles so you can better guide your understanding of the, what is best in computing. To help you, we also provide two examples of a concept map made by your colleagues that uh, uh, reflect their understanding of what is best in computing. You can use these examples to build up your own understanding. I really hope that this presentation is to start to help you understand what is the first goal in computing and in creating sustainable interactions. Also, looking forward for seeing your presentations and your understanding on the topic. Concerted social action and participation as well collaboration. Trusting in computing is about leveraging uh, uh, trust in mobile interaction. In human computer uh, interaction, trust helps to reduce the risk of uncertainty and or, uh, related with uh, technology. It also helps create positive and meaningful experiences when using technology. It's also crucial for helping users to adopt certain uh, activities or certain artifacts. Let's talk about trust in computing from a personal perspective. Session we will provide a brief introduction to, to what is trust in computing. We will also help you to answer questions like what exactly we mean by trust and, and help you understand the importance of trust in computing and distinguish between trustworthiness and trust and also discuss the effects of distressing in interaction. In a very simple way, we believe that trust contemplates a key component on, of human interaction. It's because it's a social stamina and it contemplates as well a complex two-way relationship. This means if we look at this stamina, that trust is a key element of a relationship. A relationship that can be between a, a two agents or more, a trust or a, and a trustee or a third party. Those agents are consisted of a social context or a social life that is within a community or the organization, or it can be provided by a communication medium like Skype, like Google, and so on. As we for trust in a form a professional organization. This means that we might trust a particular individual more than others. Within a specific situation, for example, we might trust a particular work colleague to uh, and share with them more uh, sensitive information like time and liberated information. The same happens in a specific social context like family doctor patient. We are required in this context to trust our family doctor with our health problems in spite of not knowing him or her personality. For that, with our trust decisions in computing, as trust influences the way we relate with this computational artifact, influences the way we communicate, the way we adopt the artifact, and the way we relate with it. As I said before, computing and computational artifacts are much related with human transition nowadays. As so, trust plays an important role in the dynamic nature of the social technical relationship, as it influences the way we interact with the computer. What exactly do we mean by trust? Trust is affected by someone willingness to take a risk to trust another person. For example, trust results from a process or a decision that takes in the counter risks of trusting someone or something like a computer. Trust exists within a situation, as I said before, integrates with social status or social life. So it needs to be represented within a community organization or within a communication medium. Trust is a topic that's been studied for many, many years. So trust uh, has many associated notions and it has a multidisciplinary nature. Uh, we believe that trust represents a process of 
believing that someone or something is capable of doing what is expected. And within that belief, it comes the degree of uncertainty. Some people are more willing to take a risk than others. So within that, the risk is a constant in the relationship. The by trusting or by taking a decision to trust or not to trust, we are trying to reduce the risk of interest and failure. What exactly do you mean by trust? Trust is a, a result from a dynamic process that evolves through time. And this process takes into account a certain time that helps us to perceive if someone or certain situation is trustworthy or not. The result of these perceptions are based on our willingness to interact or not interact with that person. So people trust produce positions line much on how we perceive certain uh, situations and how we believe that someone or something that we see acting will in fact fulfill my needs. This leads me to be more committed to the process or less committed. Trust depends much on how we determine the situation if the situation is in fact trustworthy or not. If we might ask ourselves how to determine if a situation is in fact trustworthy, the answer is by observing. Observing what? The trust warranty signs. What are the trust warranty signs? The trust warranty signs can be attributes that indicate uh, the incentive of something or someone to be involved in certain action and lead us to believe that. That someone or something, the first key action will in fact fulfill my need. This is what underlines people's belief. So they are signs of reinsurance, reinsuring me that the actions of someone or something will help me to lead to my goal, will help me to understand what will be the other's intended behavior. A trustworthy sign is what supports me in my decision and what leads me to perceive if certain situation is trustworthy or not. So it diminishes the uncertainty of interacting with something or some, someone, leading me to better identify the trustworthy making qualities of an artifact or someone. Trustworthy designs can also uh, help me understand how committed are the involving parts to the relationship. It helps me identify some individual reactions, intentions, and actual views, and also creates reinsurances that um, certain actions are going to occur as expected. So, my ability to read designs creates me a balance between my predisposition to be committed to something and to take the risk to be involved and decision not to trust or not to trust. A parameter that is supported by Gambetta when it talks about trust versus distrust asymmetry. Trust and distrust asymmetry is an important issue to create sustainable interaction. Uh, it, it takes uh, many years to build trust but seconds to break it. And once you break, uh, you break it, it's very difficult to regain that. Trust is a very complex and dynamic process, so it's very hard to measure. That's why we see many uh, approaches on how we understand trust and how trust influences different aspects and different contexts and situations. That's why, from the computer perspective, we see two main tendencies. A uh, tendency from the research is to see trust very much associated with more technical and operational aspects, like associating trust with privacy and security issues. And we also see another tendency that sees trust in the computing um, realm as associated with the social and interpersonal relationships, where trust influences very much the way we relate with computers and 
and we communicate with others through the senses. Next thing is certain. Trust is very much related with the reinsurance mechanism, or what we call before trust warranty time. Those mechanisms can be measurable and can be observed. This is observed and measured by observing behavior. Can be behaviors that come from social relationships, the way we communicate, the way we write messages, or the way we uh, we reply to, to each other's um, message. Or it can be a technical aspect, the way the computer behaves and acts towards our actions. Anyway, the trust insurance mechanism can diminish our uncertainty of the situation and help us to become more sensitive to trust. As trust is a very complex topic, um, by being able to identify certain trust warranty qualities or reinsurance qualities is not enough to understand if the identified qualities are enough to induce trust. We need to understand if those qualities that we are identified are to be trusted or not. How can we do that? That's why trust is a very dynamic process that evolves to time. It's a cycle process that we constantly reevaluate our situation and our trust warrant quality. And we constantly ask ourselves how reliable are those trustworthy making qualities? And this is especially important in omnipresent uh, production, like the production platform, like Wikipedia, Google Docs, or WordPress where um, crowdsourcing or where, where its content is uh, even uh, it's, it's constantly changing. So in sum, as I said before, trust is dynamic. Trusting represents a reinsurance element as trust results on our perceptions of another or uh, a situation as trustworthy or not. It depends also on our, in our ability to read certain signs, reinsurance each signs, signs that indicate to me that the level of risk is, is, is uh, okay to say, or the benefits of trusting someone or something is higher than not to trust. This is why studying trust from a human-computer interaction perspective or from an interaction design perspective is important because we are studying design methodologies that can incentivize people to become more engaged, more connected with certain products or uh, artifacts or ecosystems. We can change the behavior or create interesting attitudes in people, reflecting that um, that behavior can conduct themselves and, become, uh, and create more interactive relationships. As Basharash and Luman describe, trust is the complexity of a game that he or she finds herself playing. Within this game, trust comes associated with the time Asher property, represented by the initial trust moment with trust or not trust, and an ongoing trust moment. Trust can be written or changed over time. In your assignment one, we, we ask you to read this presentation, read or listen to this presentation, and also read some articles so you can better guide your understanding of the, what is trust in computer. To help you, we also provide two examples of a concept map made by your colleagues that uh, uh, reflect their understanding of what is trust in computer. You can use these examples to build up your own understanding. I really hope that 
This person is getting to the school start to help her understand what the sister is doing, consistent, and in creating sustainable interactions. Also, looking forward for seeing your presentation.